Tesla increased production of 4680 battery cells for testing a start of mass productions of these batteries are likely in the first half of 2022. Welcome back again. This is Armin Hari. I'm from TalkNews.com. Please give us thumbs up and comment under our stories. Eva Fox is reporting that Tesla is ramping up of the production of 4680 batteries for the testing purpose in the Tesmania. The front and rear body castings required to form the structural battery pack are manufactured at Giga Texas. The first production vehicles with a new architecture using 4680 battery cells will debut in 2022. In its quarter three 2021 financial report, Tesla released an update on the progress in developing its 4680 batteries. The manufacturer said its project to build its own battery cells at Cato Road, Fremont, California, continues to grow that means things are progressing and advancing this is good news tesla confirmed that an increasing number of battery cells are being produced there for testing purposes this is an important step before bringing the new cells to market in addition the manufacturer said that it was pleased with the testing results as they meet its expectation here's what tesla said the 4680 in-house cell project continues to progress. We are producing an increasing number of battery packs for testing purposes. And so far, the test results meet our current expectations. End of the quote. Tesla stated that front and rear body castings, which are needed to form the structural battery pack, are already being produced at Giga Texas. We have previously seen several flyovers of the Texas factor, um, uh, Texas uh, factors showing some front castings, and now the company has actually confirmed for the first time that it is producing them there at Giga Texas. Here's a quote. Front and rear body castings, both needed for our structural battery pack architecture, are being produced at Gigafactory, Texas. End of the quote. During the quarter three earnings call, the company announced that 4680 battery cells and the structural pack will debut in production vehicles in 2022. Drew Baglinu, SVP of Tesla Powertrain and Energy Engineering, said both of these new technologies should be launched sometimes in the first half of next year. What do you think, friends? Do you think some people now knowing this information will hold on to their Teslas, will hold their purchase and wait until the first half of the next year because the idea that 4680 batteries are going to be better batteries than the current batteries used with more density and therefore more power and therefore more range i don't know but you know um, i hear some people will do that and also considering that last night tesla increased the price of its vehicles let me know your thoughts friends let me know we'll look forward to your comments god bless you everyone Last night, Tesla increased the price of Model S, Model 3, Model X, Model Y once again. And uh, by as much as $5,000, despite setting record delivery numbers, Tesla seems to be struggling to meet the exploding demand for its vehicles. For the second time this month, Tesla has once again instituted a wide-ranging price increase on its vehicles the price increase affects like i said the model s model 3 model x and model y in this report i'm going to tell you how much each price is increased and maybe we can discuss whether tesla should have done this welcome back dear friends in this part this is armin harian from talk news tesla has been enjoying booming demand for its vehicles causing some tesla variants to have delivery dates as far as november 2022 this seems in line with the broader automotive world as cheap shortages and supply line disruptions caused by the virus have forced auto OEMs to significantly cut back production. By the way, if you find this report helpful, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. However, through hard work and ingenuity, Tesla has been able to navigate the cheap shortage relatively unscathed, unscathed, unscathed uh, rather than decreasing production like most automakers have done. Tesla has been posting record production and delivery numbers, not to mention record profit and an industry-leading automotive gross margin of over 30%. 
In the third quarter of 2021, Tesla said it delivered 241,000 vehicles for a 65% growth year over year. However, despite Tesla growing production at a rapid rate, the automaker still seems unable to meet the exploding demand for its vehicles and hence the price increase. How much is each vehicle is increased? An update uh, to the company's online configurator, Tesla has instituted a wide range, wide ranging price increase uh, of its vehicles. The price increase affects, like I said, Model 3, Model Y, Model S and Model X. And the price hikes range from $2,000 up to $5,000, making this the second Tesla price increase in just two weeks. Are you worried that Tesla prices are going more, becoming more expensive? We'll talk about that. So here's the Tesla Model 3 price increase. The company's most affordable offering uh, Model 3, the standard range plus Model 3. So its price increased by $2,000 for the second time in a row and now starts at $44,000 up from an earlier $40,000 at the start of this month. The performance Model 3 remains unchanged at $57,000, but that's after it also saw a $1,000 price increase earlier this month. The long range Model 3 remains unchanged at $50,000. That is, however, following a $1,000 price increase the vehicle saw this July. These are just the latest price increases for the Model 3. However, since the start of this year, prices of some variants of the Model 3 have increased by as much as, pay attention, $7,500. I think you can forget about $35,000 Model 3. Now Model Y, Tesla Model Y price increase. The next vehicle to get the price bump uh, is the Model Y. The long range Model Y saw its price increase by $2,000 and now starts at $57,000. And this follows a $1,000 price increase earlier this month for the same variant. Having recently discontinued the standard range plus Model Y, entry to Tesla's affordable crossover, electric crossover in the United States, now sits at $58,200, including the mandatory $1,200 dock and delivery fee. The performance Model Y remains unchanged at $62,000 that it, however, uh, after the vehicle saw a similar $1,000 price increase earlier this month. The price changes to the Model Y just this year and up to increases uh, the starting price by as much as $7,000. Now Model S and Model X price increases. The Model S and Model X, uh, which are Tesla's higher end vehicles in terms of price, and specs were able to skip the last round of price hikes last night. However, Tesla more, uh, Tesla's more high-end vehicles saw the biggest price increases this time round. But the long-range Model S and Model X now start $5,000 higher. The long-range Model S now starts at $95,000 up from a pre-refreshed starting price of $69,420. And the long range Model X now starts at $105,000, making its starting price only $15,000 cheaper than the Plaid Model X. Both the Plaid variant of the Model S and Model X saw their starting price remain unchanged. The Model S Plaid now starts at $130,000 and the Model X Plaid is slightly cheaper, starting at $120,000. The latest price increases are, are kind of said as they will put Tesla vehicles outside the price range of every for, of uh, even a bigger swath of the population. However, according to Elon Musk, the price increases have been necessary since there is a significant part shortage facing forcing Tesla to pay more flying out parts from various parts of the world. If you remember, I talked about this in my one of in my previous reports saying it will be important to know how much it costs Tesla to fly its parts. Now, in the long run, Tesla is still focused on lowering the entry price to the company's vehicles. Elon Musk believes as Tesla builds more gigafactories and localizes production to at least the continent, uh, continent the vehicles uh, are sold 
uh, in and as the part shortage starts to get alleviated test next year hopefully we should see prices fall back down once again tesla uh, updates the vehicle prices often as a result it's sometimes hard to keep up with the latest changes unless they're significant friends make sure to visit our site at torquenews.com slash tesla regularly for the latest information we publish about uh four to six tesla news stories every day thanks to our team so what do you think can tesla keep the insane demand for its vehicles despite all the price increases also will you be waiting for prices to come down or will you be placing your order now let me know friends in the comment section below your thoughts um i think that um tesla didn't have choice because parts are becoming more expensive uh chips are in shortage although tesla did great job rewriting its software so they can alleviate the chip shortage but also um flying parts from overseas is becoming expensive and also consider a huge demand that tesla has vehicles right now tesla doesn't seem to have problem selling its vehicles worldwide so why not increase the price i guess but my concern is that some people will start uh uh, to not buy teslas maybe as much as they did because prices are going up every time you increase the price for a couple of thousand dollars you're already appealing to a totally new demographic and also this may slow down the uh, transition to electric vehicles uh, which is a goal for tesla but hopefully next year when the prices uh uh, when the sh chip shortage uh, improves, Tesla will be able to lower the prices again and we can get affordable Teslas. What do, you, what do you think, friends? Let me know. Please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and I'll see you soon in our next report.